Hello, my name is Raglan Windmiller, and I'm going to be reading a narrative about immigration and tenement living. The title of my book is The Hard Life. I hope you enjoy. Wonk, the horn sounded as we casually approached the massive figure in front of us. Look, look, I can see it, shrieked Rachel. Can you see it, Ra? Soon we could, we can see Ma and Pa. I know, Rach. Let's go round up our stuff. On second thought, you go look for Calwell and Calhound while I pack. I call me Bella. It will be the first time in years we'll see Ma and Pa. When I got to our luggage, I froze in my tracks. What, it, what was I thinking to let Rachel go on her own? I need to find her. I, I Bella, I bolted very, very fast and ran on the tracks of her muddy shoes. Soon we were, they were gone, finding her with our brothers at the offboarding area. Now to grab our bags. Getting off, we thought to ourselves, we are now Americans. The line seemed like the lines seemed like miles finally getting to the front of the line at Ellis Island. After what seemed like ages, we were told what to do, sadly Calhoun having to stay a little longer, so he broke out of the arms and came with us. I pulled the postcard out of my pocket and read 529 Sunnyside Avenue, it was Chicago City. One last glance at Ellis Island, and then we began our journey through the bright shadows into the city. We stood outside the enormous building looking at the address 529. This is it. We slowly stepped up the steps to the door with a creak and gradually went to our room. The door swung open. And our parents greeted us. Hello, our parents said in our native voice. We walked in with a shock. Thousands of questions popping into our mind. It was hard to see because of no windows or electricity. Rachel screeched, what's that thing? The harmless mouse scurried away as we realized the terrible smell. What's that smell? Cal Caldwell bellowed, whipping away the smell. It's our toilet, it's leaking. So where is it? It's a hole in the ground outside. I thought to my, I threw myself down on the bed thinking maybe it was better living in Germany rather than here. Beep, 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 the alarm sounded in the dim light. I heard the alarm get turned off at, and Ma get up, Mom get up to get breakfast. I had a dream what to do today. I got up right away, ready to explore the town. I ate breakfast quickly and got ready to go. You can leave at eight, but take your brothers with you. Fine, Mom, I answered back. Our journey through the town began right away, going from street to street, looking for somewhere to explore. We came upon the, an old sh shack, rusty shack, like about the size of a house. We looked at each other, knowing exactly what to do. Let's explore, Caldwell exclaimed. We went in finding all sorts of antique stuff. We found a staircase leading to the upper part of the shack, Com coming back down with a bunch of stuff we need, and finding a secret staircase. We started going down, finding a broken step, so went back. They went up. We went out of the shack. All of a sudden, we were scared. Our road was nowhere in sight. We were on some other road with an S. Just then, I felt something in my pocket. I pulled it out as I realized it was the postcard and remembered we traveled on this road. But traveled on this road. The postcard brought us right back to the tenement, bringing all the stuff we found in the shack. We were, when we walked in, our mom asked the simple question, where did you get that? We found it in a shack. Thank goodness you found it. This is stuff we absolutely need here. No prob, I said delightfully. Maybe American, America is better, I thought.